criteria for congruence of a triangles first let us draw the two triangles with one side of 3 cm so when i draw the two triangles i'm going to get a triangle like this which is abc and def here are these two triangles are congruent observe that see when i place one triangle above other so they are not completely covering right so they are not congruent now let us draw the two triangles with one side as 4 cm and one angle as 50 degree here after drawing i'm going to get the two drawing like this which is abc and pqr here if you observe are they congruent no right they don't look as the same shape or same size if i keep on one above they will not completely cover as well so these two triangles are not congruent so from this example i can say that the equality of one pair of sides or one pair of sides and one pair of angles is not sufficient to give us a congruent triangles now what would happen if the other pair of sides of the equal angles are also equal let's see for that as well so observe this triangle triangle abc and triangle pqr here ab is equals to pq and bc is equals to qr and both the triangle are having the same angle right so i can say that angle b is equals to angle q if you observe if i place this triangle on one above the other they will completely cover because they both are of same shape and same size so in this case i can say that the two triangles are congruent so i can say that the equality of two sides and the included angle is enough for the congruence of a triangle and this is the first criteria for congruency of a triangles from this i'm going to get a yes a yes congruence rule which states that the two triangles are congruent if the two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to the sides and the included angle of other triangle and this is about the first criteria of congruency of a triangles so let's see few more criteria for this congruence of a triangle in the next class